The next communication system that we'll look at is the communication of black-capped chickadees, small birds that live in North America. And these birds were the topic of study ran by Templeton and colleagues in 2005 to check how they communicate and what kind of messages they encode. To study what alarm calls chickadees use and what kind of information they encode in those alarm calls, the researchers presented 13 different animals to a group of chickadees. And among these 13 different animals, some were predators, so dangerous hunting animals, but small. Some of them were also predators, which hunt chickadees, but larger. Some were birds which do not hunt chickadees, non-predatory birds. And sometimes there was no bird uh, or any other animal, just the human experimenter, to compare what the chickadees um, sounded like without any danger. So there were 13 different animals and the researchers recorded the sounds that the chickadees made in response to those animals. Then the researchers looked at how many D notes the chickadees made to discover what type of information was encoded in those notes. On these graphs, you can see the results of this study. The first graph on the left shows the number of D nodes on the y-axis compared to predator wingspan, so how wide the wings are. And the other um, graph presents also the number of D nodes per call um, compared to the body length of the predator. So they both measure a similar thing. They are just different measures of the size of the predator. Bigger predators will have larger wingspan and of course usually also body length. So these have similar information, right? The further on the um, x-axis is the bigger predators and what you're going to see is that the there are four D notes per call for predators that have the wingspan of 40 centimeter or the so the results show that what chickadees talk about is the size of the predator. In their calls, they encode whether the predator is small by using many D notes or whether it is big by using fewer D notes. So the smaller the raptor, the more D notes. The bigger the raptor, the fewer D notes. What the researchers did next was they took the calls that they recorded in the first experiment and played those calls to other chickadees. So 
In the first experiment, they recorded how chickadees reacted to predators. And in the second experiment, they wanted to record how chickadees respond to the calls of other chickadees. In other words, the first experiment was about encoding the message, right? So what signals do chickadees use to encode the message? And the second experiment was about decoding. So whether other chickadees can then understand this information. So the question, the research question was, what happens when you play a recording of chickadee calls made in response to a small predator versus those made in response to a big predator? And how will the other chickadees react? And again, you can see two graphs. Graph A on the left shows you how many chickadee calls chickadees made when listening to the other calls. So on the y-axis you can see how many calls there were in response to the other recorded calls. On graph B you can see how many birds came up to the speaker from which the calls the recorded calls were coming. So when there was a speaker and from that speaker was the sound of um, other chickadees, how many of the listening birds came towards the speaker? And again, the results are shown for the control where there were no, um, no D notes, no predators for the calls made in response to a large predator and for the calls made in response to a small predator. And you will see that for the control condition and the large predator, when chickadees heard the other calls, they didn't make many of their own calls. They only made um, fewer than 10 of their own calls. But when they heard other chickadees' calls made in response to a small predator, they started making more calls. So it seems like they were trying to warn other chickadees. And similarly, on graph B, you will see that the highest number of birds, so four to five birds, would approach the speaker when they heard the call about a small predator. So it seems that when chickadees hear other chickadees making very many D notes in response to a small predator, they understand it is a small predator and they make much more calls themselves and they go towards the speaker. So it seems chickadees are more concerned about small predators. So when they hear those calls, they make many of their own calls and they go towards the speaker to find out what is happening. And that makes sense because chickadees are very small birds. And so it is the small predators that are more dangerous to them. Large predators are not interested in very small birds, and also large predators are not as quick. However, small predators are a much bigger threat to small birds like chickadees. This is why chickadees found a way to encode this important information in their calls. So this research study shows that chickadees don't make a difference in call between types of predators. So they don't have different calls for large or small or mammal or bird predators. It's always the same call. However, it contains information about how dangerous the predator is, or rather whether it is small or large.
And the way it encodes this information is by varying the same signal, the same call, in terms of how many of the same notes there are. And in this way, Chickadee communication system appears to be grading. So just like when bacteria release more of the chemicals in response to more other bacteria, chickadees produce more D notes in response to a more dangerous predator. So a new meaning is created by varying the same signal. And this is an example of a grading communication system.